Planning on a road trip soon? You may get some serious objections from your wallet. Prices at the pump have jumped seven cents in just one week, 17 cents from a month ago. And as KITV4's Jill Kuramoto reports, prices are only expected to rise. I was really excited when they were going down, 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 and now I'm not so excited anymore. I keep hoping, you know, that four will be at least a three. The sharp rise in gas prices is hitting us hard and early, according to analysts. Why were they going down and now why are they all going back up again? Much of this spike is being blamed on the unrest in the Middle East, along with increasing global demand, pushing up oil prices higher than this time a year ago. The price of gas usually rises in the spring because people do more driving. And economists say at this point, we should expect nothing different. They could get back to what they were last uh, spring and summer. That means the average price of gas peaking at just under $4.50 a gallon. My reaction is uh, drive as little as possible in this car. And that's one effect higher gas prices will likely have on our economy. But UH economist Lawrence Boyd says higher oil prices here in Hawaii have a bigger impact due to our dependence on oil to generate electricity. So you see an almost immediate impact with, of high oil prices on your monthly electric bill. On the whole, it's not, necessarily, it's not a good thing. It, on the whole, what it means is that people are channeling more money into one thing uh, that, that's basically a necessity for them and less money into other things. But here, where we're used to paying premium prices for just about everything, we can only hope gas prices are lower than last year's average and learn to adapt. Well, I have my bicycle in underneath the house. I think it might come back out. Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 News.